Congratulations on being accepted into a health professions program. Your program should employ a disability resource professional, often called a DRP, that is specialized in health professions programs and clinical accommodations. The DRP should work with you, your academic program, and various other offices on campus to ensure that your education and campus experiences are fully accessible. Disability access can be accomplished in several ways. One way programs work to create an accessible environment is to determine reasonable accommodations that are tailored specifically to you, the student, to remove a barrier. A good example of this is the use of additional time on time-limited examinations. Another mechanism of providing access is to look at systemic barriers and remove those for all students with disabilities. Programs often do this through the use of universal design of instruction, curriculum development, and physical space to maximize access for all students. Stigma and stereotype can be big disincentives for disclosure in health professions programs. However, we encourage students to contact their program's DRP before matriculation, giving the program plenty of time to determine and implement accommodations. Disclosing disability and requesting accommodations early in the process will help ensure that all barriers are removed. Your inquiry should be confidential and you have the choice of whether or not to move forward with the process after meeting with the DRP. You may have engaged in the accommodations process in the past, but this will look a little different. Some of the accommodations that were available during your undergraduate education career may not be considered reasonable in the context of a health profession's education given the specialized nature of clinical and graduate programs. But don't worry, the specialized DRP will work with you to identify reasonable accommodations that address disability-related barriers and assist you with navigating this new space. Regardless of whether you're a student with a disability that has engaged with accommodations at previous institutions, or if this is your first time asking for disability-related accommodations, the health science curriculum will be new to you. We encourage you to utilize all the resources available including those listed on your campus website. If you think you need accommodations, the first step is to reach out to the disability office for your program and request an appointment with the DRP. The program will likely ask you to fill out an application that will include questions about how your disability impacts you in daily life, and then specifically about how you think your disability might impact your access to the program. Your DRP will likely have questions like, how does your disability affect you on didactic instruction or assessment? How does your disability affect you with regard to clinical or lab access? Have you previously received accommodations in an academic setting? All programs ask students to submit documentation of their disability. You'll want to inquire about documentation guidelines early on so that you have the required items when requesting accommodations. You can usually find these items on the Disability Office's website. Students often have questions about privacy. Best practice necessitates that only representatives from the Disability Office review your primary disability documentation. Once you submit documentation, even if this is HIPAA protected at your physician's office, once it enters the Disability Office, it is now considered information covered under FERPA. Once you've submitted your application for accommodation and documentation, you will meet with the disability resource professional to talk about any academic, clinical, or laboratory-based barriers. The process is highly interactive. First, you will have a conversation with the disability resource professional. If the accommodations are general in nature, a decision can be made relatively quickly. For more nuanced accommodation requests, your DRP may have to consult with your program. If so, they will be asking questions about assessments, lab, clinical experiences, and clinical placements. When these interactions occur, the conversation is focused on the barrier, not your disability. These conversations may take a bit longer to work through. Another reason we encourage early disclosure. You will continue to work through this process with your DRP until you develop a mechanism for removing the barriers. The agreed upon accommodations are often communicated via an accommodation letter. This may be sent to your program to implement your accommodations. Given the detailed process, most barriers will be removed. 
However, sometimes additional items pop up or symptoms may change, resulting in new barriers. When this happens, students should return to their disability resource professional to review possible adjustments. Congratulations on beginning your journey to becoming a health science professional. We encourage you to work with your DRP. We hope you have an accessible, positive experience. More resources can be found on our Docs with Disabilities initiative website under the Access in Medicine resources at www.docswithdisabilities.org slash AIM. You can also follow the conversation on Accessible Health Professions Education on Twitter at DocsWith.